guys and welcome back to my channel life with Debbie baby doll and today we are going to be doing a review on a new wig that I purchased by Altre yes a new wig that I purchased by Altre it's called the perfect hairline and this particular one is Shanice I know I did another one this one I actually was this one I think it's Lana I did this one so we're going to do a review on this that I bought and we're gonna do a little briefing on um, the product that I promised to come back with you guys about the dream girls hairline I'm gonna give you my honest review on that about how I felt about the product and how it worked on my hair we're gonna talk about that yes we are in this video oh also before um, I go any further without further ado i'd like to give a shout out to one of my subscribers who left a beautiful comment her name is benta m that's her right there and i also want to give out a shout out to my sister who is always supporting me um you can follow her on her channel it's positive beauty 528 okay so guys without further ado Let's get into this video and let's see what we got here and let's talk about that hair product girls. Let's talk about the hair product. Just follow me. Just follow me. channel so without further ado as I said before let's get into the unboxing of this Shanice wig Altre perfect hairline okay I bought her in a 430 um, and this doesn't look like it's going to show too much of a 30 but I bought her in the color 430 because I love something with a little bit of um, auburn hint to it. So that's why I said, well, you know what? Let me try 430 because I couldn't find her. This wig is so hard to find. This Shanice, this particular one is hard to find for Altre. I don't know why. But um, it's synthetic. It is a 13 by 6 wig lace, okay? Um, let me look at the back of the box because I can't remember everything. Okay? It's a frontal. You have the side, you have a back wide strap for the back of your hair when you um, go to put this band on and everything. You don't have to pluck this wig, okay? It's already pre-plucked, so you do not have to pluck this wig, you know? I mean, you can get your wigs. If you want to pluck it some more, that's on you, but you really don't have to pre-pluck this wig. It is pre-plucked. This wig is heat resistant, heat resistant, and you can do up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and heat on this wig also. So we're going to take her out the box. Still snapped onto this thingy here. <laughs> She's pretty. She's very natural looking. Look at it. She's natural looking. She feels nice and soft, straight. I don't really see no 30. I don't see no 30 no wigs. I mean, it got a little bit, but not a lot. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that little streak. That's it. I don't see no, like, 30-30. Like, you got to play with it. Let me take this plastic and stuff off. <clears throat> I don't like the fact that you have to play with this wig in order to see the color. Like, see that? Like, it seems as though that they would have had a lot more. Like, even in the front, there's no 30. It's, like, basically a number four wig, and they just took a couple of strands of 30 and stuck it in one spot. That's what it seemed like to me. So, this is enough for a 30. They just say, if they put a strip of 30 in it, I guess they just saying, that's your 30. Okay? Because, to me, this is a 430. Okay? 
even though this is iron blend, but they could have put 30s throughout the wig, okay? But they did not do that, all right? Now, what I do like about this wig is, <laughs> is that it has a strap for, um, for security. Like, if you don't want to take the combs and use combs and stuff, it has a strap already in it. It comes with the strap there. See that, ladies? This is your 13 by 6 lacing that goes all the way. Let me open it up so that you guys can see. You see that? She has baby hairs and everything. So you really pretty much got free parting in the front. So you can part on the sides here, you know. Got, you got pretty much a good um, spacing for free parting if you want to, to part it. I think I'm going to try her on. I have to cut her. You, you guys know I, I never cut a wig on my head. I never ever do that. <clears throat> so, but anyway, come along me while I cut this because um, let me put this inside here. It's just like all in the way. So let me move this stuff out of the way. Um, I got my scissors here. So, why I, why I cut this? We're going to talk about uh, my experience with the Dream Girls um, hair products that I bought. Now, remember, I told you guys <clears throat> that I was coming back on February the 15th, which would have put me midway at the three-month mark of utilizing this product. Well, um, I had to stop the product. I'm going to tell you why I had to stop the product. I don't know um, if the product was too strong for my hair, but my hair, it broke my hair off. Girl, it broke it off. Broke it off. So, I basically got a setback from using the product. It, I'm not, I'm not going to, it's not a bad thing because everybody's hair is different. So, for my hair, it may have been too strong. It may have been too strong because when I tell you that I went to wash my hair the other day and I put my hands on my head and it was coming off in my hand. The ends. And mind you, they tell you to, to trim your ends before you use this product, which I had already did. I had to trim my ends again. I had to really trim my ends again, which meant that I had to cut my hair short all over again. Am I happy about it? Hell no. Hell no. I'm not happy about it because I had to, it's like I'm starting all over again. Like, it felt. I feel like the moment I started to um, retain some length, I'm right back where I started. And I'm, I'm not very happy about it. So what I decided to do was go back to my old faithfuls. I'm going to show you what I use when I'm washing my hair. Because I don't change my oils. But I did change my um, shampoo. Tresemme. Okay? I went right back to my Tresemme. You know why I'm going back to my Tresemme? Because as long as I use this product, I use the conditioner. And I use the um, shampoo. It's thick and full, and it's pH balance. Key thing, pH balance. So I had to go back to using this. So, and guess what? I, I, I'm not going to be a product junkie for you guys anymore. I'm sorry. I can't be a guinea pig because... I don't have hair down my back like that. Some women, they can uh, be a hair product junkie for you guys because they got hair down. So if they break off like maybe two or three inches, they good. If I break off two or three inches, I'm about damn near bald headed girl. Mm mm. Mm mm. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it for you guys. Anyway, let's, let's cut this off here. So that's my little rant about the Dream Girls hair product. I spent a lot of money for that product. Okay? A lot. Mm -hmm. So, um, anywho, 
you can judge for yourself if you want to buy anyway guys sorry about that um for some odd reason um i put my phone on do not disturb and a video phone call came in and it just cut my video off so i'm irked i'm a little irked you know as i was saying um you can judge that product um for yourself you know what i'm saying I think it's a, a, a good product. I think it will work It work wonders on a lot of women's hair. I don't know if it's because they were actually going into their salon and they were actually doing their hair. I don't know what I did wrong with the product. I can't say there's anything wrong with that product. Okay, I think it, it just might be a little bit too strong for my hair. Is all I'm saying. You know, I put my hair in a protective style as they stated. Um... I don't know if it's because um, I'm older and my hair is um, changed its texture that I can't do what I used to do, like prolonged um, protective styles. I don't know. I noticed that when I wear my hair, like my hair, I like to twist my hair, right? And the twists actually work for me, okay? But to wear like my, my units like really... Um, flat to my head Sometimes I will braid my hair just like braid it back like straight back or what have you But my I noticed my hair would get like kind of sore in the middle when I braided it back Opposed to when I just twisted it and just let it kind of like be like raggedy in <laughs> I didn't my hair just felt good. It just doesn't bother me So I just put a little a stocking cap on it after I make sure that I moisturize it with some um, oil the, the stocking cap and then I put it on top because I don't just take a stocking cap and put on top of my head I don't do that or either I'll wear um, the one that's it looks like a, um, I don't know I'll put it right here I'll put the stocking cap right there I'll wear that type of stocking cap I don't I forget the name of it right now I don't know why I got a brain fart but I just did so I'll use that type of stocking cap on my um, twist and then I'll put my unit on which is fine but I Right now, guys, I think I'm going to be stuck in my units for a minute. I'm just going to be stuck here. Okay? So, and But it's okay. It's, o it's okay because I don't want to put braids in my hair uh, anymore. Not, at least not now. Anyway, I want, I want to get the strength of my hair back because I felt like it, it was a little weakened after that, you know, using that product. And I'm also going back to using my avocado um, mask. All my natural stuff on my hair. I'm not changing my stuff anymore. That's it. That is it. That is it for the change of products for me. Okay? Change of change of products for me. I'm done. I'm done. Okay? When I tell you I'm done, I'm done. I'm really, really done. Look at the baby hairs on that. And also, I noticed when I flipped it, that is, they put, it, they put the red hair down in the back. I just think that's bad because I think the red hair should have been in the front. I don't know. But it has a nice, breathable scalp, which is good. Let me get this thing off of here. Okay, let me just cut it. Now, you guys know how I do. I never, ever try my wigs on. Well, I have. I'm lying. I have tried my wigs on. Uh, right on here. Should I? Should I not? Should I? Or should I not? Not! <laughs> Hang on for one second. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, guys. I am back and... This is Shanice, okay? She's lightweight, very lightweight. She's dark, no. She's dark. Sis is dark. Um, she feels great, though. She really do. I parted her with this brush, okay? You know, you, you, you know you can fix your hair the way you want. You can put your little makeup in here to make the um, part look a little lighter. More like I would have to put a little bit of um foundation in this wig to make it look more like my skin. I mean, like she's kind of like looking like my skin, but um, 
I think I could put a little bit of foundation in her. But she feels good. She actually feels like there's nothing on my head. I think I, I'm liking that. I wish she was lighter, though. Like, I don't know. I just wish she was lighter, guys. She's beautiful. What do you think? Tell me what you think. Look at it. Look at the flow. Look, look. She ain't stiff nowhere. Look at that hair. She's gorgeous. Okay? Just gorgeous. So let me tell you how much I paid for her. She was $59.99. I got her off of Amazon. Yes, I did. Got her off of Amazon. Oh, and the Lana wig that I bought, um, I bought her like four months ago. About four months ago. And she was $48.99. $48.99. They're both Altre perfect hairline um, wigs pre-plucked, okay? I just feel like uh, Shanice is a little lighter. Lorna felt a little heavier. Maybe it's because she's longer because she actually virtually came right back here. But <laughs> she comes about the same. Yeah, she's about the same. Yeah, she's about the same. She's about the same. But, um, I don't know. I was, when I put on darker hair, I always have to get used to it. You know, because I'm so used to wearing lighter hair. I'm going to try to find Shanice in a light, lighter color. Is what I'm going to try and do. Because, like, see the little streaks here? It's just not enough for me. Pick a one. Listen, I'm finding, I'm finding, I'm finding the hair. I'm finding the 30, y'all. I'm finding the 30. I'm making it appear by playing with it. All right, guys. That, that is all I have for you guys today. I am going to let you go because I'm about to go because I need to work out. I got to go work out, guys. Yes, I do. I need to go work out, and I need to have my lunch before it gets too late because... I got to be on top of things, okay? So, guys, that is all I have for you today. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and share my videos, guys. And also, if, because I this is actually fairly a new channel, and I don't have that many subscribers, so I'm working toward getting subscribers. If you have a new channel, or if you're trying to build your channel, Subscribe to me, and I will subscribe to you. I definitely will subscribe to you. It's like on TikTok. When people follow me, I actually follow them. Yes, I do. I watch their videos. I like their videos, and I actually follow them. And I do the same here on my YouTube channel. If someone is supporting me, I will support you because I know what it feels like to uh, start something and literally feel like you're putting your all into it, and you just don't get anything out of it. Like you, you feel like you're not getting any support from people or like you're trying to figure out, you know, what am I doing wrong or blah, blah, blah. Even though we know it's algorithm and everything takes time. But like I said, you support me and I will support you guys. All right, guys. So that is all I have for today. Thank you for just being with me and, you know, letting me ramble on and just talk, talk, talk. And trying on this beautiful wig. Alright, guys. So, I will see you in the next video. I'm not sure what it's going to be. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm going to be cooking something or if I'm going to be bringing you another hair video. Alright, guys. Well, I will see you later and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.